So welcome to the containerization video series. This is episode one and I'm really interested in showing you guys how to dockerize many different languages and frameworks. So specifically in this video, we're going to see how to dockerize a Django application. So of course, stick with me if you want to learn more about this. What's up guys, Medium Guy here. In this video, we're going to see how to dockerize a Django application. As you might know, with the growth of virtualization technologies, which one of the most famous and most used being Docker. And as a result, we're going to isolate and containerize our Django application. So I've got the timestamps. If you already know the parts, you can skip forward. And with that, let's jump into work so as you can see over here i have a very simple and basic django application which simply has a manage.py and a requirements.txt and a simple project that is created using the django basic commands so the docker file which we're going to create our container from it is placed right over here in the root of the project and of course i'm going to explain step by step on how to create our docker file and based on our cases we can easily modify these steps so as all of the docker files must have the from instruction tells the docker engine to use which image as the base image so in our case we're going to use python version 396 alpine which is also good for production and in the next step we're going to define a working directory which i've passed slash app in this case which is going to create a directory inside the container and it'll be our working directory from now on and then in the next step i'm going to copy the requirements dot txt inside the slash app which is my working directory the requirements dot txt is a simple text file in which i've defined the requirements the dependencies that i need for this python project to work so going back to the docker file the next step i'm going to use the run instruction which is going to actually run the command that i'm passing inside the container which is going to be pip3 install-r requirements.txt which is going to install the dependencies using the pip3 package manager for python and as the result i'm going to have all the dependencies that i required for this application to work accessible and ready inside my container so the next thing i'll use the copy command again to copy all the files which this dot over here stands for to inside the slash app directory which is again my working directory so as a result i'm going to have my project files beside my dependency files so then i'll be able to run my application so the expose instruction is the instruction we use to expose ports to outside the container so like for example i'm going to run this application on port 8000 so i'm going to expose this port to outside so it'll be accessible from the outside the container and when i'm going to run this container i'll actually expose this port to another port outside the container in my host machine and i'll be able to access this project inside the docker container from the outside network and the next instruction is the command instruction which is not actually going to run the command that i'm passing inside the container but it'll try to run it when i want to run my container and it'll be the default command that is going to actually run when i want to run an instance of this image that i'm creating in this docker file so the difference between the run instruction and command instruction will be that the the run instruction will actually try to run the command 
in the image creation runtime when we try to create an image out of this docker file but the command instruction will not actually run the command that we're passing in the runtime of image creation but when we want to create a container it will be as the default command that will be run when a container is created out of this image so i hope you get the idea so with that the steps for creating my django image is ready and next i'll move to the terminal in here i'll hit ls i'll cd into docrise django directory which i'll put the link down below of my github repository if you want to access all my files and configurations that i create in my videos so no worries about the codes and configurations so the command that i'm going to actually run in here is that i'll say docker build dash t with the dash t switch i'll be able to actually provide a name a tag name to my image so i'm going to pass a name so i'll say django underline web and by hitting colon i'll be able to pass a version number so i'll say latest in this case it can be any other values that you want like for example v1 v2 or whatever and next i'll pass dot as the path to the docker build command so it'll actually be able to access the files that are contained in this directory so i'll hit enter so i've got an error saying that there is no docker file existing over here so i'll try to cd into app and if i hit ls in here i see that my docker file exists over here so i'll be able to run the docker build command wherever my docker file is located or explicitly i should define the location for the docker file in the docker build command so i'm going to actually move to the directory that my docker file exists and i'll try to run the docker build command again and this time i see that it is actually trying to create an image and name it as the tag name that i passed so actually i'm not connected to any network and it cannot actually download the requirements.txt so i'll try to connect my machine to a network so i've got a network connection i'll try to run the docker build again and this time i should be able to actually get the image out of this docker file so the image has been built successfully and named as the tag name that i passed to it by hitting the docker images command i'll grab django so i'll be able to see only the images with the django underline web in their names i'll hit enter and in here i'll see that actually i got an image named django web with the tag latest and i should actually be able to use this image to run containers so for running containers as you might know we can do this in two ways one by simply saying docker run and the image name and options that we pass to it and another way is using a docker compose file and defining our desired state in it and by simply hitting docker compose up we'll be able to run our containers so in this video i'm going to run my container using a docker compose file so first thing i'm going to cd a directory back and i'll say touch docker compose dot yml and as a result i should be able to have it in here and the first line i'm going to say version number i'll pass 3.3 i'll say services and in this I'll say Django web. I'll provide the image name as the Django web, which is the image name and tag I just created. And I'm going to actually expose a port 
which will again be 8000 which I exposed when creating my docker image so I'll say 8000 exposed to 8000 inside the container so this 8000 is the host port which will be the port that the port inside the container will be forwarded to and the second port is the port number that the application is running inside the container so with this simple configuration I'll be able to run my container so I'll save my file if I simply say docker compose up dash d to run in a daemon mode so this will try to actually create the containers that I defined in the docker compose file which exists in the exact same location that I'm running this docker compose up command so I'll hit enter as I'm expecting I should have my docker container up and running if I say docker compose ps in here I see my docker containers name its state which is up and the ports the 8000 forwarded to the 8000 inside the container and simply going to chrome I'll say localhost 8000 in here I should be able to see the default Django page that is created when creating the Django project so that's it for the dockerization of a Django project if you have any questions if there is something ambiguous about the process of dockerization about the docker file and any other stuff just go ahead and ask me in the comment section down below also don't forget to watch my other videos in this video series and also don't forget to like and subscribe which will help support this channel and with that i hope to see you in the next videos